The Last of Us is an incredible journey that will immediately grab you by the soul and pull you right into its bleak yet beautiful world. It is easily Naughty Dog's greatest achievement to date and should be a shoe-in for Game of the Year, and in my book, Game of the Decade. The game follows Joel, a grizzled survivor 20 years into the future after a viral pandemic ravages the world's population. Known as the Cordyceps virus, it is an airborne fungus that infects its host and renders them incapable of reason and relentlessly violent. Joel, along with Ellie, who he teams up with early in the game, will come in regular contract with these infected along with hunters and scavengers who are ruthless and resourceful humans who epitomize what the brutality of survival of the fittest really looks like, as they victimize any and all who stumble into their makeshift territories. Their journey will also intersect with several colorful and off-kilter characters who have their own fascinating storylines that further deepen what is already a fully realized world within a world. While Joel is the primary protagonist of this game, and the character who you'll spend most of your time controlling, Ellie really steals the show. She has a jaded, yet innocent and sympathetic warmth to her, and she has distinctive sensitivities that Joel doesn't, while also having a hard exterior and a sailor's mouth. Ellie's life is this bleak world, and it's all she's ever known. Anything pre-apocalypse is but a foggy dream. A dream that she pieces together through what she's heard and through the discarded and neglected trinkets of humanity that are in a constant state of decay about her. Many of the more touching and immersive conversations in the game involve Ellie trying to better understand and sate her inquisitive mind when asking Joel about the way the world once was. The presentation of this gritty, dilapidated, and broken world is more immersive than any medium in the post-apocalyptic genre to date. From swaths of cars covered in moss and rust and frozen in time, to graffiti-scrawled quarantine zones reclaimed by bands of roving bandits, to oppressive military-enforced cities on constant edge and in total lockdown, The Last of Us is so beautiful and it replaces every little piece and symbol of our bustling world with a forgotten, disheveled, and decaying counterpart. It shows the human race cut off mid-step, and its art does the fall of humanity justice. This world is so ominous and bleak and shattered, and yet it is sprinkled with many moments of stunning beauty that it leaves sick people like myself with a longing for the end of the civilized world. One of the game's most fascinating aspects is the characters of this world, and particularly Joel and Ellie. The body language and facial expressions that Naughty Dog has managed to capture between these two, and really all of its characters, is so striking. It again just immerses you and gives real flesh and blood to these wholly real people you are watching before you. This game is easily the most visually stunning game to ever grace the PS3, and probably deserves that distinction against the Xbox as well. From its gripping and emotionally charged cutscenes to its chilling and violent and mesmerizing world, and the captured action animations, etc., that go along with that, this is one polished feast for the eyes. The gameplay in The Last of Us is tight and immediately familiar to anyone who has played a third person action game in the last few years. While it doesn't break any new ground or revolutionize anything, it can't be ignored that Naughty Dog did a perfect job in their approach to gameplay mechanics. The last thing a game like this needed was some gimmicky attempt at remaking the wheel that would have just left gamers frustrated and focusing too much on button presses, thereby taking away from the story and its immersive locales. What the controls accomplish is an easy and responsive way to interact with the world while letting the story shine. I don't, however, want to give the impression that the gameplay lacks depth. Not at all. This game is a blast. A nerve-wracking one that never lets up and keeps constant tension and fear in the back of your throat, but a blast nonetheless. Outmaneuvering bandits and misdirecting infected takes strategizing and skill, and the paths are huge, while very visceral and raw as well. Each kill feels weighty and disturbing 
serves as just another example of how much you're immersed in this world and can relate to all the humans and subhumans who inhabit it. And the closeness you feel to your characters and their struggle for survival enhances this tension and its subsequent payoffs tenfold. The audio in this game is superb, from the guttural and eerie clicking and screams of the infected to the impeccable voice work for every single one of this game's characters. Every line is true to life and to the lives of your characters. Never do you feel like things get cheesy or out of whack from the dark reality. The voice work of Joel and Ellie is especially well delivered. You completely forget that you're playing a game time and time again as Joel sighs at Ellie's persistent questions and attempts at humor. This game says so much through voice inflection and tone that most games can't scream at you, much less spell out for you in flashing neon letters. The musical score is very understated and oftentimes transparent, but it does such a good job of capturing the mood and ratcheting up the, the tension. Often, you don't even realize there's a soundtrack playing, while you're straining your ears to hear the direction of a far-off gunshot or to make out footsteps creaking the floorboards above your head. The Last of Us is an experience unlike any other. It's in one sense polished, as it has top-notch presentation, graphics, acting, dialogue, and writing, but that polish does not mean it lacks depth or grittiness. This isn't a game with a formula. It's art, and it's daring, and it's not afraid to scare the piss out of you and to piss you off. This game doesn't pander to you or hold your hand. What this game does is tell maybe the most thoughtful, well-written story in video game history. And Naughty Dog colors that story with memorable, believable characters that will stick with you. The decisions that these characters are faced with are so real, and their responses to them so human it's downright haunting. Its world is both beautiful and disgusting, and a pleasure to experience. This game is never dull and will have you panting and sweating and cursing and crying in equal measure. It is a journey in every sense of the word, and by the end of it you will be exhausted and shaken, and if you're like me, you'll never want to go through what it took to survive ever again. That's not to say it wasn't fun or incredible or well worth every hour and every second. But it's a relief when the credits roll. It's a triumph and it will leave you with a smile on your face knowing that you've played through the most memorable game of your entire life. Don't miss out on this masterpiece. This is a once-in-a-lifetime gaming experience and as close to as perfect as you can expect. Mm -hmm.